Let's look at some rational expressions. We want to know for what value of x is the rational expression equal to 0, and then for what values of x is the rational expression going to be undefined? Number one. Number one, for what value of x is the rational expression equal to 0? So if it's going to be equal to 0, we completely ignore the bottom and we set the top equal to 0. Next, we solve for x. and we get x is equal to negative 5 over 2. For what values of x is the rational expression equal to 0? Ignore the bottom, set the top equal to 0. For what values of x is the rational expression undefined? Now, for these problems, we're going to ignore the top and set the bottom equal to 0. This is not always true. In the future, they're going to get more complicated. You need to make sure that nothing on the top is going to cancel something on the bottom, but for right now we're ignoring the top and we're setting the bottom equal to zero. How do you solve a quadratic equation that is set equal to zero? We need to factor. So what two numbers multiply to get negative eight and add to get positive two? That's four and negative two, so those are our factors. We're still not done. For what values of x is this equation equal to zero? Next we split and then we solve. So x is equal to negative 4, 2. These are the values for which the rational expression is undefined. We ignored the top and we set the bottom equal to 0.